What's going on, folks? TJ Lauman, aka That Sports Gamer here. Millennium over there in your ear holes. Hi, guys. It's like the worst Kermit the Frog impersonation I've heard. That wasn't Kermit. That was though just the way I come in. Sure, Whoa. sounded like Kermit the Frog. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I can make it Kermit the Frog if you really like. Hey, do you know what happened like three weeks ago? You'll never guess. What did you play three weeks ago? No. Do you know what happened three weeks ago? It was pretty groundbreaking. What happened three weeks ago? Yeah. Uh, today is what? Today is October 24th. Yeah, I'm talking about the uh, 30th. Three weeks would be the, it's like the 30th of September? Yeah. Like, I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, dude. I, right. I'm, three weeks is asking for a lot. Let me tell you. Uh, that was the last time there was a roster update in MLB The Show. Really? I thought well, uh, isn't that like end of the season though? Normally they don't do too many roster uh, updates. I would think during playoff time, right? Why not? Come on. Why not? I'm just telling. I'm just telling you that's that's what I thought normally. And then they do one roster update after everything's over, where they take the injuries off. Which well, that if was that the one on then? There's technically there should be two. Well, I don't know if they're gonna do anything with them. Uh, there would be two. There there needs to be a roster update Friday. Because two guys are coming off the disabled list, so they would need to go back on their rosters. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Uh, hey, so you know that World Series thing starting? What World Series thing are you talking Have about? Have you heard about this? This one city that has not hosted a World Series in decades is getting the World Series. It's weird. And then the other team is, you know, just starting to get their championships back, right? Yeah. Did you hear about this? That I think it was like I forget what I forget what place it was. They said that Chicago hasn't had a World Series in seventy nine years or something like that. I believe that. Uh, yeah, but the White Sox had one like ten years ago, which also is in Chicago. Well, they were talking about the Cubs, there, right? Right, but they said the city of Chicago. Yeah, but does the White Sox really count? I mean, they got Jose Abreu, who's a beast. Well, was a beast. I mean, in hearts and minds, he's still a beast. Uh, in your heart and mind, how quickly did he go off your team when he got uh, downgraded to silver? Well, hey, that's uh, there's no there's no allegiances in Diamond Dynasty. <laughs> so you, again, your heart and mind has decided that Jose Abreu is not your guy. I literally don't even know who took over for him. Uh, oh, I got Rizzo. Come on, Rizzo's my guy. I mean, yeah. Now that he's starting to hit in the playoffs. Hey, man, I'll take Rizzo every day that he's a gold. Uh, I don't know if you saw. Obviously, you didn't because you confessed to me earlier that you don't play Diamond Dynasty anymore. Uh, Correct. I, I do not. I don't remember if these came out for last episode or this episode. Uh, there's a championship series mission for Josh Donaldson and Andrew Miller. You take the live series ones, do some things, and then you get the... Or no, you get the rookie ones, do some things, and then you get the live series ones. I could see that. I when they first did the like the David Ortiz, I went through and did that. Mm -hmm. But after that, like I was just like, when I put MLB the Show in now, I'm in 2019 in my Orioles franchise. That's my that's my one true love, and just in general, like Ultimate Team in like general for all the games, I'm out. I'm all out. Right. Franch franchise is just too much fun for me right now. Let me get them mutt cards then, bro. What mutt cards? Anyway. My mutt cards on Xbox, baby. You know that. I'll take them. I got a team over there. They're Do terrible. you? I mean, what's up? So we'll have to uh, talk off stream. So look, you need six wins with rookie Andrew Miller to get uh, legit Andrew Miller, and twenty-five doubles with rookie Josh Donaldson to get legit Josh Donaldson. Here's the problem. Do you know how hard it is to hit a double with Josh Donaldson? Dude, rakes. That I agree with. You gotta use. You know what you gotta use. You gotta use the old contact swing, baby. Break out the C swing. Ugh, it's rough. Gotta do it. Uh, then they have some new ones called playoff pressure. Uh, level one is you have to play 150 innings with uh, players from the championship series teams: Cubs, Dodgers, Indians, and Blue Jays. Then you get a pack. Then you unlock another mission, and you also get a ten pack. I haven't unlocked the second level yet, though. Well, that's pretty cool because most guy, most people have gone through a lot of those teams for collections, so they should have locked players already. It shouldn't be like you're buying new guys. Right. Um, the Cubs probably being the most expensive out of all those. Well, no, I guess Kershaw and the Dodgers, but you could have a good Dodgers team and still get your innings. So. Oh yeah, and would you really worry about your starting pitcher? 
No, no, of course not. And when you're playing these teams, what is 152 games? Mm, something like that. Yeah, like 80. So you get not what nine guys, nine innings, 81 innings, two games, you're done. Yeah, because you figure I go eight guys and then change your starting pitcher, so you should be fine. Uh, there yes, you go. So I'll probably try to do that at some point. Uh, was there anything else? Can we just talk about how the fact that they're adding content this late in the season? Yeah. I, and I get, I get that a lot of people have moved on from the game, but one of the biggest requests that they had was give us stuff all year, and that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. they're, they're giving content when you know you might not expect it, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, the only problem is there's such a lull of not a ton of content that now they start rolling out the stuff, and it's like, oh, awesome. Right. Oh, well, it's kind of like the actual MLB season, though. So sure. you think there's like a lull right around August, right before September picks up. And like September is when this really came big. Right. But that's the grind. That's when you need to be grinding. Yeah. And, and the yeah. real problem, uh, specifically for me and I guess anybody else that plays Madden Ultimate Team and MLB The Show still, uh, Madden has drop, dropped a ton of solo Ultimate Team content in like the last two weeks. That is true. So trying to get on here and get six wins with rookie Andrew Miller has been driving me crazy. Trying to get wins with John Lester, driving me crazy. But <laughs> I don't know. We'll get there at some point. I finished uh, the first level of R.A. Dickey. Now I'm working on the second level of R.A. Dickey. Oh, R.A. Dickey trying to get that big bad card, huh? Which I guess he was the wild card set. Was he? Yeah, you're yeah. right. He was the one card set. You're absolutely right. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, I'd like to finish that at some point. I feel like my dream of having everything done before the end of before MLB 17 is probably not going to happen. But I feel like I've accomplished a lot. That's trying to get all the cards though for MLB 16. That's a huge task. Uh, that would be pretty yeah. impressive just overall. At some point, I cut it down to just live series cards. Right. Uh, I'm. I feel like I'm. I'm probably close, but I think there's like, the cards I'm missing right now are either are really big cards or cards that are worth like ten stubs. Well, and the other problem you have with that is when you get in the live series cards, you're talking about, you've had to push a lot of them in, to get the better cards. Mm -hmm. So you know you're losing them, you're regaining them. I just it's tough. Yeah, and a lot of it's like, a lot of the cards that I need are guys that I'm not gonna play, and so that kind of makes me like. What's what's really the point here? But like, I'm very happy with my, where my team is now, and I don't think I would really change much between now and the end of the year, right? But you know, yeah. I mean, I, and I think a lot of people. And the cool thing is, when I'm watching people stream and stuff, I'm still seeing different teams. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, I'm, I'm not those. seeing like the same nine guys every time. I, every time out. Yeah, I, that that was the real big help of all the uh, uh, all the new legends and stuff this year, and different ways to get cards and stuff rather than. The way it was last year, where pretty much everybody had the same team by the All Star break, and by the All Star break, and being very, very generous because it was right. Really no, late. you're by right. By the end of May, <laughs> by the end of May, we were all rocking the same diamonds. So, yeah. and everyone, yeah. So, I agree. Like I said, there was a ton of content this year. Again, for next year, I'd like to see some more offline. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see some more, you know, journey esque kind of challenges or weekly challenges. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot like they're doing for these playoffs. I think these playoffs are a great look into next year. Yeah. Um, the, the content they're doing right now. So that's perfect. Yeah, I really I really like what they're doing now. I wish they would have spread this out like through the whole year and had stuff going like this. And not I, bust, I think busted uh, Madison Bumgarner cards that I sell without knowing what the future <laughs> holds for them. I, I think this stuff that just came up now is probably an idea that came mid-cycle. I, I don't think this was something they planned. I know they planned playoff content, but mm -hmm. this is probably the the brainchild of a bunch of work. And what we're seeing now is Diamond Dynasty finally coming into its own. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm really hoping this goes right through. Now. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm hoping this, this transfers over to next year. I think that would be awesome in keeping gamers locked in um, well through August. Uh, so, real world series is going on. Uh, Indians versus Cubs, though the Indians are the home team, even though the Cubs were what the best record in baseball by like eight games, something like that. Yeah, something like because of the All Star game. What was obviously. it? What was it? Uh, a two Giants let up home runs to two Royals to decide 
that the Indians are going to be the home team against the Cubs. So yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's hilarious. I mean, come on. They're, why is the All-Star game having anything to do with I, home field advantage? It's literally ridiculous. How does how does the NFL do it? Is it just... Well, the NFL, is, the NFL, remember, is uh, neutral it's site. Also, yeah, also neutral site. But it, who calls the flip? I just think it goes back and forth. Damn. Whatever stadium they're in. I think whatever stadium they're in at the time. But, I mean, in the NFL... There is no home field advantage if you're in a neutral site, so I don't I think it doesn't matter what right. color you're wearing. Um, I think the NBA is fine the way it does it. The NHL is fine the way it does it because it, it gives the regular season some yeah, meaning. That's it makes sense, right? Uh, Red Sox Forever says if someone has done all the cards, my God! Oh, he said if someone has done. Oh wow! I'm yeah. sh- I know there are people that have done the live series because obviously that's how you get the Jackie Robinson. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gotten all the legends. Probably not, because that seems like a lot of waste. Because a lot, a of, lot of money too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a prediction for this upcoming World Series? I'm gonna say Indians in six. Ooh. Um, I, I, I like, like the it. Indians in this series. I wish they would have their entire pitching staff. I think that would be much more helpful. But when you get into that bullpen, like in, in World Series like this, the bullpen is what separates. Um, the wheat from the chaff, men from the boys. Yeah, Make I mean, choice. like I think they're both about even hitting. I think the Indians are a little better overall hitting, whereas the Cubs may have a little bit more power. I think defensively, I think the Indians have the edge. If we're talking about starting pitching, I think the Cubs have the edge over the Indians, although the Indians tend to be more consistent. Mm. But once you get into that bullpen, dude, I mean, that bullpen is lights out. Yeah. So... Uh, I'm taking the Cubs in six. Though I have a nice. about your Indians. Uh, how do you feel about Danny Salazar coming back, uh, being placed on the World Series roster after not pitching? <sighs> is it like mid September, early September, or something? Yeah, that's the thing. Here's the question: Is Danny Sal- is Danny Salazar going to pitch as a starter? I I want to say no. But so it, if the answer is no, I'm okay with it. And I think if, the answer is also he can't throw his curveball. Ooh, that's going to hurt. I think that that was something I was reading where his arm might still be hurt enough that he can't throw, really throw a curveball. So in this case, if he comes in for one or two innings, doesn't have to throw the curveball because he's got enough stuff where the curveball would be tertiary for him, mm-hmm. he can still get guys out without the curveball. So I'd be okay with that in a relief role, maybe right. even long relief, a couple of innings. But I think they said he was going to max out at like 65, 70 pitches. Yeah, that'd be fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Yeah, I was even thinking, uh, who was the guy that started that one game? Remember that lefty that had to start like game four? Oh, um, oh, what the hell is his name? I mean, I'm assuming he has. It's a, not. A, it's not Tomlin. It's not Bauer. Or Bauer. It's not. It's like no, no. he only had like one start, right? Right. Yeah. No. No. He didn't have much, and they they kind of pushed him into it to keep other guys fresh. Tyler Naquin. Tyler Naquin is an outfielder. Yep. Uh, not Mike Clevenger. He's a righty. Who was it? Uh, Ryan Merritt. So here's, oh, yeah. here's my idea. If you don't end up using Salazar in like the first three games, you might as well do like a have him start or Merritt start and have him each go three. I can see that, dude. And I, I can definitely see Merritt. Merit. And that way you get your lefty righty. So you could start Merritt. If anything goes wrong, keep him on the shortest leash possible. Mm-hmm. And then bring Salazar in, and they're, they've got their lineup set up for re- lefties. You give Salazar even a more advantage. So, yep. Uh, I was watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Cubs, they've decided, I think it's official, they're putting uh, Kyle Schwarber on the World Series roster. Yeah, Red Sox just confirmed that in the chat. Six at bats since April. Yeah, you kidding me? Uh, that kid, that kid has no business being on that roster. If if he hits the walk off home run in the, well, he can't do a walk off in in because it's uh, it would be in Cleveland. Yeah, but yeah, it'd have to be six or seven. I mean, yeah. if he hits if he hits a clutch home run, I, he I don't pinch care. Hit. He could pinch hit, pinch hit walk off in game five to win it. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, anything like that, I mean, he still shouldn't be on a roster. That's that's a bold move by Madden. Now, I hearken back to 2013. Uh, the Cardinals had uh, Alan Craig play in the World Series. He hadn't played since the beginning of September. Uh, he had, like, a broken foot or something. 
You may remember he couldn't run at all. Uh, but I think they did the same thing pretty much. They had him DH and pinch hit. Or did he, even, he might have not even DH. I think he pinch hit like every game. Uh, but he played. He got. He went like six for eighteen. So he probably DH one or two games. If going six for eighteen. Al- Alan Craig is a specialist against lefty pitching. Mm-hmm. Kyle Schwarber is not. Right. And Craig had played in September. Schwarber right. hasn't played in months. And yeah, it was but I mean, ACL. but at this point, do you really can you question Joe Madden at this point? I mean, yeah. After 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 all the moves he's made the entire season and how well he did mm-hmm. with the Rays, don't forget. I mean, he took that Rays team a couple of times to places they had no business being. Yep. So I, I mean, I can't. I don't want to question him. I, I don't think it's a great move, but it's Joe Madden. Let him do his thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel bad for who's. I think Solaire's going to get bumped out from this. Probably still on the roster, but he's just not going to play. He's going to lose at bats. Yeah, he's definitely yep. going to lose at bats. Yeah, uh, I don't like to play. Even if he does great, I still don't like to play. But if he plays and they win, I'll be happy, I guess. Yeah. I, I have a Texas hat. I think I have an Indians hat. You have every hat. I'll have to search for that. Almost. You know what hat you don't have? You're not going to have whatever minor league hat you have to buy for Paul Sport. Uh, yeah, I got to order that. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I got minor league hats, though. I got the Hickory Crawdads. I got the Clearwater Threshers. I got minor league, minor league hats are, are fresh, dude. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Especially with, with the cool thing, like like the uh, local team around here. Well, not local around here, but one of the local teams is the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Ah, the Iron Pigs, yes. Yeah, dude, the Iron Pigs have are, all kinds of really awesome hats. Are they still Phillies? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah. Because I remember when I got my Clearwater Threshers hat, they also had the Iron Pigs hats and stuff. Because I believe uh, they play at Bright House Stadium, which is the Phillies... Uh, spring training place. So I think they pretty much had all the hats there. Also, great deal. 13 bucks. Tickets plus all you can eat. Soda and some burgers and oh. hot dogs and stuff. Great deal. I mean, minor league stadiums do it right all the time. Yeah. They're, they're looking to bring guys in to, to bring butts in the seats. So you get some of the best food. I mean, I think they're, they're the creators of some of the best, like, eccentric food mm-hmm. in the ballpark. Um, they'll bring deals, family nights, dog nights, firework nights, statistical, uh, oh no, I forget what it was called. What was it? Come on, come on, come on. You can get this <sighs> tip of your tongue. Well, it was, I know it was fan graphs community night, but I don't remember what yeah. it was. Uh, and, oh no, it was, uh, Saber metrics night. That's what it is. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, good times. Good times. Thanks to the, wow. Staten Island Yankees. Did they pick a new name yet? Uh, I do not know. While I look that up, we're going to be continuing our common card draft series. Uh, I will pull up the teams for the stream. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we've got game three tonight. I won games one and two. Game two was a barn burner. I think you won at, what, 2-1 with a run in the seventh? Uh, Did I win game two? I thought you won game two. I'm sorry. I won game two with two in the seventh, I guess. Uh, Yeah, pretty excited. Uh, My rotation for the game is going to be Pelfrey, Fultonevitz. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Andrew Albers, Tim Linscom, and Johan Flande, though I guess Johan Flande is out because he pitched game two. Do we want to not have the game one and two starters going, or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, let's let's go with somebody different than the game one and two starters. Uh, well, but the only problem with that is we're not going to know until we actually get in the game, right? right? So we'll have to back out and then go back in. Uh, Which sucks. So who were the game one and two starters? It was I know two was Marks versus Flande. Uh, game one was Pelfrey versus Musgrove. Gotcha. So. Harold Clevenger or Stevenson for me. I could see that. Let, let's just see what comes out. If it's Marks or Flande, I think we should – we'll know right away. We'll back out. Mm. Well, um, uh, we'll know right away because Marks is a lefty. Right, exactly. Well, so is Flande, right? Yes, but I have two lefties. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, my starting lineup is going to be some mix of uh, Eric Young Jr., Matt Reynolds, Connor Gillespie – oh, sorry, Eric Young Jr. in center, Matt Reynolds at second, Connor Gillespie at third, Daniel Nava in left. A.J. Reed at first. Jose Tabata, hero of game two. Uh, in right, Christian Vasquez behind the plate. And either Reed Bruniak or Luis Sardinias at shortstop. And then the pitcher batting ninth. 
What's and where I'm standing is so a big change for my lineup is Andrew Tolls of the LA Dodgers mm. is going to make this team um probably leading off. Oh. Yeah, got some speed and playing left field because with you've already designated that we're gonna be playing in. Go ahead, say it. Capital field, the most beautiful field in the game. Capital field, a huge outfield. Uh, I think we definitely, I definitely need a little more speed, a little more defense out there. So Andrew Tolls will be in left field with Malik Smith in right. I think Malik Smith is getting moved to the bottom of the lineup. Uh, and I'm going to have a pitcher batting eighth. Ooh, so I'm ho- hoping that uh, pays off. You're taking Frank Hoare out of the starting lineup. No, Frank Hoare is playing right field. My bad. Where's, wait, what? Malik Smith is playing center? Malik Smith is playing okay. center. Okay. Andrew Tolles is in left. JB Shuck takes the seat on the bench. I think you said Malik Smith is in right, but I could be wrong. Uh, it, that could be it, that could be wrong. Who knows? It could be wrong. Could be right. You may be right. I may be crazy. Oh, but it might just be a lunatic you're looking for. Exactly. What up? <laughs> I appreciate that because I had literally forgotten the next line. I know it all. Uh, let's see if I can find you on this thing challenge you to diamond dynasty i don't remember any of the settings we had it was all star right it was all star um we have to make sure quick counts is off and i think we had strike zone on and hot zone on preview no box variable uh remember matt reynolds got towards acl in the first game yes but we allowed him to come back we're nice guys yeah i'm not i'm not gonna keep him out that's no worries no reason for that. Then I would have to go back and make an amazing draft pick. Though, the thing is, with uh, Kyle Schwarber, back to that, if he does get hurt, he cannot be replaced on the roster. Ah, yes. That's a good point. Or at least, I guess if he hurts his knee, it's something with, like, pre-existing injuries. I don't know how that works. Is it October? Oh, uh, yeah, it's October. Let's go overcast. Uh, let's go partly cloudy. Big bucks, no whammy. Big bucks, no whammy. Stop. Oh, now I got to hit it. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm facing a righty. I am facing a righty as well. Oh, we could be good here. Guys, Reed Brainiac or Luis Sardinias? I don't know. It's a tough choice. Mm. I think I'm pretty set. I think we're going to go Tolls, Beckham, uh, uh, Ike Davis, right. Casey McGee. Jeff Francoeur, Marco Hernandez at short, Carson Kelly behind the plate, and Malik Smith in center with Carrera and J.B. Shuck on the bench. Man, I really want to put – I'm not going to lie. I really want to put Shuck in right field over Francoeur Mm -hmm. for the hitting. Completely understand. But I'm going to keep keep with my initial thought. Uh, I just remembered Reed Brunac will play because – He's got that sick, sick shortstop arm. Ugh. We got to restart. We have to restart? Why? Big Pelf, Joe Musgrove. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Red Sox Forever wants to know, is Scream one of the greatest slasher movies? Uh, I am never. I was never a big fan of Scream. I thought it was good. I don't know if it's a great slasher movie. I almost want to say it's... I mean, it's not a comedy pretty funny well yeah it's definitely not a comedy i'm not, not saying that i will say it's a good movie for high school kids how about that, is that a... all right so we're restarting right yep is that okay. faint praise is that condemnation <laughs> I don't know friendly quit i'm gonna say no <laughs> Ooh, when was blown out too that is millennium from operation sports yes hello what's going on guys at millie what the dilly that's what i say Guys, if you haven't already, I implore you to go to thatsportsgamer.com slash extra life. Uh, we're going to be raising money in a few weeks for the children of uh, the Children's Specialized Hospital of New Jersey, part of the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Uh, did you hear the great news today? I did not hear the great news. You need to tell me the great news. Uh, if you donate a minimum of $15, you will be entered to win an Elgato HD60 from our Ooh. good friends over at Elgato. 
Speaking from somebody who streams from an Elgato HD60, it is well worth it if you are looking to become a streamer. It is absolutely key to getting that great quality off of um, off of not only your Xbox One and your PlayStation 4, but also you get yourself a camera. Um, you, you see it with me. You see what you're doing right now. All the overlays, that all starts with a capture card like Elgato. So that's a great, great prize. Yep, we got two of them. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Uh, hot zones on preview. Strike zones on. Quick counts off. Pit, guest pitch off. All star, right? Correct. All right. Uh, also, a huge ton of games to give away that we have. Uh, let me see what I got. I got uh, pit passes for NASCAR Heat Evolution on PS4, which I guess Ooh, you, you nice. have to have the game, but the pit, pit passes for all the DLC, I guess. They just released another DLC today, or today or tomorrow? It's very soon if it's not already out. The October DLC is out. And the patches, that game didn't start great. The patches have made that game fairly legit. I know. I need to get back into that more. I need to keep my season going. Uh, we got Organic Panic on the Xbox One. Deadpool on the Xbox One. Teenage Deadpool Mutant. is such a fun game. Uh, I got two codes for that. Three codes for Organic Panic. Three codes for the Pit Pass. Uh, TMNT on the Xbox 360, I got three codes. Nice. Uh, Snoopy's Grand Adventure on the Wii U. We got two codes. Fulty and Robert Stevenson. This ought to be interesting. This should be a good game. Uh, yeah, Snoopy's Grand Adventure on the Wii U. Run Gun... Uh, it's harder to say. Run Gun Jump Gun. Uh, three Steam codes. Two Ghostbusters codes on Steam. Two Jackbox Party Pack... Two, uh, sorry, three Jackbox Party Pack 2 codes for Steam. That uh, Jackbox Party Pack, by the way, it's completely legit, right? underrated. I know. Um, not That's... only is it great party because you a party game because you can play with your cell phones. Mm -hmm. Like everyone doesn't have to have a controller. I played this at a family get together not too long ago with like twenty people. You could also play it on stream. Right, you could just give out the link, right, and everybody can get exactly. in. Exactly, exactly. Uh, three copies of Velocity Two X, and then you know what I did? I know some people. Don't get auto pitch, by the way. I know, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I got. You're not gonna believe this. Are you ready for this? Go for it. I got ten copies of Out of the Park Baseball, seventeen. Nice. I know a guy over there. Uh, I also got ten copies of Franchise Hockey Manager Three. Oh, I cannot wait to get into that. By the way, wait. Does that? Mm. Yes. Yeah. What? I was trying to think. Is uh, when the game launches versus when's Extra Life. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, am I giving these out yeah. before <laughs> it comes out? The franchise Hockey Manager is like, especially now that you guys got the, uh, the, the they, they have the NHL license. That is so clutch. Mm -hmm. And then you Road to, Glo Road to Glory, Path to Glory. Uh, Path to Glory mode should be pretty legit. Uh, what else we got here? I have uh, three copies of Video Ball. I don't know if you've seen that from... Uh, I've seen videos of it. The videos folks. of Video Ball. Uh, it's published by Iron Galaxy. I don't remember the name. Uh, 108, I believe, is the guy that uh, made the game. I got copies on Steam, Xbox One, and PS4. And nice. uh, one of our favorite games. I got five copies of Super Mega Baseball. Uh, winner can decide their console for, for those. Uh, Austin wants us to buy his rookie J. Bruce for 13K. Sorry, sir. We already have one. I definitely think I have rookie J. Bruce. Well, because I think I actually get the rookie J. Bruce to get the uh, prime J. Bruce, right? Mm, sounds like something I would have done. Yeah, it was pretty good. Golden boot. What's going on, sir? But yeah, uh, the extra life stream is going to be broken up now that I have a child. Got to kind of break it up a little bit. Maybe next year we go back to full steam. Uh, also, you know what they did again? Some First off, someone needs to be fired over there. Uh, it's supposed to be a 24-hour gaming marathon. This uh -huh. is the second time that they've done it the week of uh, Daylight Savings Time. Oh. Thus making it a 25-hour stream yet again. Right, because it, you know, skip back while you're there. Uh, yeah, uh, so the way I'm doing it is I am streaming. I've already forgot. I, this is why I have the website up, so I can remember. Uh, I am streaming Friday, November 4th from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. for six hours. Then Saturday okay. morning, I'm streaming 9, to 12, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Oh, sorry, 9 a.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., which is noon. 
which is very confusing sometimes. Oof. Uh, then I'm taking a break from 12 to 3, and then I'm going from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., which will technically, I guess, be 5 a.m. because of the time change. Right. Uh, and then Sunday night from 8 to midnight. 25 hours. Hmm. That is, yeah, that's going to be big time. You yeah. have to have that schedule and that uh, energy drinks ready to go. Yeah, I, f- I have to break it up because uh, of the kid. I mean, I don't blame him. Completely understandable, he's, by the way. He's a good kid and all. I don't think anyone is going to uh, blame you for that. Yeah. It's more to make sure my wife uh, doesn't leave me, essentially. <laughs> That's always a good idea, too. Uh, yeah, so I'll be able to help her out from 12 to 3. And then we should be golden. Uh, but yeah, this Friday and Sunday nights, they'll be sleeping. And Saturday will just be a long day. But at least I'll be there for a little bit rather than uh, being completely MIA all of Saturday. Right, right, right. And then what happens is you're compl- here's the problem with playing video games 24 hours. So you say you're just going to stream all day Saturday, but you know what that means? You're sleeping all day Sunday. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. It's it's not going to work on Sunday for you. So it's a it's a numbers game. You really got to work out. <sighs> Snaggle J with the host, appreciated very much, sir. Nice. Way to go, Snaggle, my man. My man doing work as a Florida Panthers franchise, too. Here's my problem with Snaggle J. You know what I'm my problem with Snaggle J right now? What is your problem with Snaggle J? Do change, change your Twitter handles, like, on the daily. Really? Yeah. I want to say like, Snag- Snaggle J. Changes Snaggle J might be his third name in, like, three weeks. Like, he changes the name and not the handle? I think he's changed the handle. Could be Really? Wrong. Could be wrong. Red Sox hmm. forever hitting you with the tough questions. We're going to get that in a second while I uh, get back from Snaggle J's unfortunate. Uh, why am I not getting into Extra Life? Oh, because I have prior commitments. You're a supporter. You're, you're a big supporter of Extra Life, and I appreciate that. I'm a much. big supporter of Extra Life, yes. We got to get you to do it one year. It might kill I, you. Know, it might literally kill you. But No, it won't kill me, dude. I, I could do that. I do six six hour stream with nothing. 24 hours with nothing for me. Wow. Listen, we can do it. You think you know. It's like the real See, that, you That's you the know, problem, though. You have no idea. See, the problem is, is I would do it, and I would want to do 24 hours. Like, I, I would be, I'd be yeah. all hyped up to be like, I'm going the full 24 straight. It's tough. And like, by like hour six, I'd be like, what in God's name am I doing? True. <laughs> I'm telling and then you, I'd be like, it's for the kids. First off, for the kids. Also, I mean, if you don't do the 24 hour, you know, take a nap, come back that Sunday, wrap it up. Call right. Yeah. We had, I think it was the, f- I want to say it was the first one. My man, Jay Sherm 23 came over. Oh, nice. It was rough. He left around, <laughs> four, he left around four o'clock in the morning. Everyone delirious <laughs> laughing at Matt Stairs coming out to hit a pinch hit home run. <laughs> we were laughing. See, that's that's the way to do it is like have friends around, not necessarily with you, but even online, like keeping you going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what happened one night. It was like. Uh, usually I go from uh, either 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. Right. Uh, so I was doing 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, this I believe this was the year of the, the first time change. Uh, yeah, that was rough. Around 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, my man, uh, Code, Code X Avalum. I, don't know, I, know, who ta- I know who you're talking about. Big buck guy. Pe- great people. He, uh, he was working with us doing... Uh, do an extra life. Two o'clock, okay. he was like, I'm kind of tired. I don't know if I can do this. And I said, <laughs> BS, get on Skype. Let's chat Wake it, up, it for, up. Let's chat it up for six hours, play FIFA. <laughs> and we. Uh, uh, he is a huge Ultimate Team guy for FIFA, too. Yeah, we rode, we rode through the storm and we're good. Ooh, AJ Reed, Oppo, 36 speed. Gonna get thrown out a second. Not even a question. No, I don't think Tolls has the arm. Ooh. Yeah. That's one thing. Tolls has the speed. I don't think Tol- Tolls has got about the same arm as Malik Smith. So I appreciate. You know what? I appreciate uh, Snaggle J putting in the branding work. Unlike some people named Paul Spore that we know. You got Spore. You got PS. Jeff Frank Core. Line up the brand. Put in the branding work. <laughs> That's. Im- I like it. It's important. No, I agree. Well, let me tell you a little something. I got that sports gamer everywhere. That reminds me, I do need to get set up that sportsgamer.com slash that sports gamer. 
And that is why Andrew Tolles is in left field. I like because that. I don't think J.B. Shuck makes that play. Uh, the franchise you're doing. Did you fantasy draft or you're just doing straight up? For which franchise? You said you were in like 2019, 2029? Oh, no, no, I did not franchise. I, I used an SCEA roster. Mm-hmm. So I did not fantasy draft. It was the actual Orioles with fake minor leaguers. Gotcha. Are you deep in? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm deep in. Uh, I'm is there anybody still in, around? Like anybody uh, in the Weeders is gone. Manny's still around because I re-signed Manny to a big contract. Actually, no, I take that back. Manny and Scope are still around because they're still on arbitration deals. Mm-hmm. Um, the next year, they'll be off of the arbitration deal. I brought in Madison Bumgartner on a big, like a $29 million a year deal. Nice. So a couple of decent pitchers. They got Gosman and Bundy are still there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who else. Davis is still there because uh, Hardy's gone. Jones is gone. I had to let Adam Jones Ooh. go. Yeah, not not a fan. Actually, Malik Smith is in center field for me. Nice. Um, I put together a big-time deal because I had a couple of really good third-base prospects that Atlanta wanted. So I got rid of an A prospect and a high B left field prospect for Malik Smith. Nice. Yeah, all the, all the trades have been pretty realistic for me, so... Um, so far, so good. So I did a fantasy draft last Sunday, I believe it was. Oh, nice. We may have talked about it for a hot minute on, uh, on last week's stream. Yeah, uh, you told me you wanted to do something like that. Yeah, so I did the draft. Uh, I've played, th- I'm going to do just like, play a game this month, play a game na- next month, see what kind of happens. Uh, Get so down. far, been going pretty good. I think Malik we're- Smith. My I, man. I played two games, one and both. I think we're 30 and 20. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's about two months worth of games. Right. Uh, so, pretty excited. Dodgers are doing good. Who did I, I had a good game with uh, Alex Reyes. I was very excited. Uh, you know what? Uh, Nick Baseball, who was in the chat earlier, was throwing a no-hitter with uh, Alex Reyes through through six during my stream earlier tonight. Nice. He's pretty, uh, pretty good. Not going to lie. Yeah, I've heard good things. Also, Snaggle Jay is on the Extra Life team. Oh, cool. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've, seen, I've seen that before, actually. I think. We're uh, over $3,400 raises a team. What are you doing with Malik Smith? Oh, there's two outs. <laughs> imagine. There imagine Malik Smith outs. doubles up again. There was two outs. I knew it. Uh, yeah, it's a team where we've raised over $3,400 this, this year. Damn. 3400 is nice. Yeah. Yep, Nick Baseball is here checking in the chat. I'm trying to see. Uh, I am still number three on the team. Just good. Nice oppo. Nice. Good, good hit. What a go with it. A little outside cheese kept him with. Ooh, I wonder what. Mm, I mean, it's way too early to look at this. I want to see what position our team is. Last year, we finished in. I think we were the 75th most money made team. The year before that, we were like 40 something. And we got a cool. The cool picture frame and stuff. Right. Uh, we're currently 80th overall. Nice. Problem is, some big guys got into it, raised a bunch of money. I mean, which is great. <laughs> Makes us look bad. Right. <laughs> kind of like uh, faulty on that swing. Yeah. All right, nice play by Ike Davis. I'm okay with that. I think even even if the runner doesn't go there, I think that's the same play. Yeah. Yeah, he had 55 speed, I believe it was. 55 speed, he's beating that out. Yeah, exactly. Or at the very least, that's, that's a play that I don't want to make. Nah. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. I was going to throw to the cutoff, man. I said, you know what? Just in case. Ooh, getting pinched. Gotta gotta keep an eye on Eric Young over there. He is pretty fast. Ooh, taking pitches. Waiting for Young to go give him a chance? Is that, is that what I'm seeing over here? No, nah, that'd be ridiculous. 
Cover the cover the plate. Cover the freaking broth. Is somebody not covering the plate? I'll go. No, no, not the plate. Uh, <laughs> cover first base. Right? <laughs> I almost sure. juked you out there, right? <laughs> Here's the problem: if you're watching the stream, you see me just smirking. <laughs> really? Is? Yeah. I'm not watching it now. I have to pause the stream. Can't do it. Not even not even trying it. Yep. Uh... Um, I'm not a Walking Dead fan. Red Sox. I did watch it last night in the company of another person. Pretty crazy. So yeah. A lot of people have now given up on the show after that episode. Yeah, and I think people are crazy for that. What's the big deal? Yeah. Snaggle says he oh. watched it for his first time ever last night as well. And it's funny because it's like the this stuff happened in the comic book. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've read the comic books. Like, I'm not a huge fan, but I've read it just because of how popular it was. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they changed the way one of the guys died because the writer was not happy with how he died in the comics. So this was, like, his kind of comeuppance for that. Like, or, or, like, just setting things right. But the way the guy that everyone's upset about, and I don't want to spoil it too much, mm. but the way that every, what everyone's upset about it was, like, it was like picture perfect, much, right? Yeah, exactly. It was like frame for frame. Yeah. By the way, I read Brignac. Good thing he's in there for defense. Yeah. The problem is uh, using, AJ, AJ reads too short. Are you using meter uh, meter yeah. throwing or? Yeah. Buttons with meter. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, that was not good. Also, I did finish, uh, speaking of TV, caught up with Ray Donovan. And by caught up, I mean finished the season. Whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now here's my question. People with bad fielding ratings, is that just what they do? Yeah, you're going to see a couple of weird animations. If, okay. if you're not spot on or if you're moving while that ball's coming at you. I wasn't even moving and the guy moved. Right, but I mean, you, if you're not spot on where it needs to be, is what I mean. And it's tough to judge. Because I had that, like that. I had that with, uh, I had Nelson Cruz in a game playing right field. I didn't touch the thing. The ball was hit right at him, and he just, like, charged, and it just flew over his head. Right, yeah. No, I mean, bad feeling ratings, sometimes you're going to get that no matter what, so. Yeah. Uh, what else did I do? I, I'm caught up on Westworld. I watched that last night. It's I've funny. not gotten into that. I've heard Westworld is really good, and I just haven't got into it yet. If you like uh, thinking shows, Westworld is good. Uh, you, know what I, you know what I started watching last night? I hope it's The Blacklist. No, it's not the blacklist, but close. You're very close. Scorpion. I no, no, not Scorpion either. Although I watched the first season of Scorpion, not much that? stuff. Um, it? it's okay. It's it's essentially you know a bunch of imagine if Big Bang Theory was like about like crime fighting. Interesting. So they're they're all kind of doing the same thing. Like they'll have their own things going on. Like one's a hacker, one's g. They're all kind of geniuses. Mm -hmm. So and so then is there's it, the is it like leverage. Uh, yeah, leverage. Leverage is a very good analogy or a very good comparison. Got and it. I loved leverage, by the way. Me too. I, I see it on uh, Channel Three. I don't even know what it is. I think it's like Ion Television. They have it all weekend, every weekend. Nice. So I kind of get lost watching episodes there. This team's real good at like slapping the ball the other way. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> it's annoying as hell. Got to work out that. Uh, Got to work out that shortstop. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's another great thing to say. You know, these shortstops don't have great ratings, so. 36 oh, feet. Oh, Marco, there yeah. it is. He's going for that power swing. He didn't run. You may remember, AJ Reed hit a bomb game one. Yeah, I remember it very well. Trust me. I never got into Gotham. Uh, I'm, I actually watch Gotham all the time. I'm a big fan of Gotham. Oof. And I wasn't at first. Um, Gotham had to pull me in a little bit, so. We're at the short stopping off, not 11. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. First off, I'm swinging at the first pitch on everything. There we go. Coffee clutch over at first base. Yeah, Mad Hatter's going on right now. They had a whole thing where Arkham kind of, they emptied Arkham out. So there's a bunch of people in there. So Question. Do they even talk about Bruce Wayne anymore? Yes, Bruce Wayne is still on the show a lot. Okay. It has its own storyline right now, too. So, yeah, it's interesting, and you can start to see him training towards Batman. The thing is, eventually, at some point, it's, someone's going to want to see Batman. Yeah, he's got to become Batman, so. 
Wasn't that thing with the? Uh, I never saw that show. Small World? Was it the Batman one? Smallville. Was Smallville. Smallville. Was and Small in the last World season, also show? I don't know, maybe, but Smallville is the one you're talking about. With they never uh, put the cape on him, right? Until like the they last did season. in like the last the last episode, they put the cape on him. Brilliant, brilliant move. Is he going? Got him. Nope. Oh, um. Uh, Flash so far this season, I'm not a fan of yet. Uh, I they need to do a little more for me. I just it's not for me yet. I'm not saying it won't ever be, but I don't like a lot of what they're doing so far. Um, I, I but Flash is my favorite show last year, so I have a feeling it's going to come back. Um, I'm actually watching all the DC shows now, which are pretty cool. Did you watch the what did they just show? Uh, did you see that? I believe it was Fox did a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Live Rocky Horror Picture it Show. It wasn't live. I, that's what confused me. I thought it was live. Not live. I thought it was supposed to be live. I that's I, I thought it was supposed to be live. Either it was live and they were very bad at making that point clear. And right. it did not look very live to me. Uh, I don't know. wasn't that great. kind of stopped watching it. And then it was over. Nice play. I don't think it was live. I thought it was supposed to be live. Uh, Red Sox, he's out on Supergirl, but he's watching Flash, Arrow, and Legends. By the way, Legends of Tomorrow is on another level right now. I think that's the best show of the four. How is Rory doing in that? He's doing pretty good in that, right? Rory? Yeah. Rory's not in it. I wonder what his name is in this show. Rory. The Legends of Tomorrow? That's what it is. Yeah, he's in Legends of Tomorrow, but uh, who are you talking about? Uh, Rory. I'm sure he's got a real name. They got a cast. I don't remember what his name is. I don't know who you're talking about. Rory from Doctor Who. I believe he's in the show. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea who Doctor Who is, so. He's this blonde guy. Whoa! Loud, loudness. Uh, tell you in a second. After I strike this guy out. Oh! Come on, Blue! No, no, not yet. Uh, Arthur Dorval. Rip Hunter. How's he doing? Oh, Rip Hunter. Okay, okay, yeah. He, he's doing well. Um, he was just off the show for a second, so I don't know if he's coming back or not, but he was written off a little bit. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, he was very good in Doctor Who. Nice. Didn't like him to start. Kind of fell in love with him at the end. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a little little antsy on that one, but that's okay. Risked it for the biscuit. And had to... Yep. Got uh, the run, knew the run was going to score. It's what I needed. Yeah, I don't think this thing was live. For a Rocky Horror Picture Show? I feel like I it would have said live a lot of places that I'd be... First off, oh, this guy's got the batting sense of Carl Crawford. I was very confused. <laughs> I was uh, told very specifically that I was not allowed to watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show because of how terrible it was going to be. So, I okay. mean, uh, from what I saw, it was like, all right, but not... Like, uh, you'd rather watch the regular one. Well, the person that told me this is a one of the people that, you know, dresses up, does the goes to the big-time theater to see it, and they throw, like, props and everything. Mm -hmm. I would like to do that so, once, I th one time, I think. It's fun. I've done it once. Um, it's even it, the first time I went to see it yeah. was in that setting, and I didn't kind of know what was going on, but by the end of it, it was just, just a ton of fun. Yeah, it's got to be rough for the first time. Yeah, the film premiered on October. Wait, that was fun. Yeah, so the twenty-five minutes, first twenty-five minutes, uh, were screened at Comic Con, so this is definitely not uh, live. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, what you gonna do? Gotta make play first. I knew what I had to do there. I didn't have any chances. Patrick J. Adams from Suits. Uh, I don't think so. What are we talking about? I don't about? think so. He was. I think he was talking about the guy you were talking about. Oh. I would like to watch Suits. Is that a good show? Has anybody seen that? I mean, it's about suits. Zoot suits or just regular suits? Second. Zoot suit Ryan. Ryan. No, it's not going to drop. I, I was, was just getting my jog on. In my uh, in that fantasy drafted one, I have a uh, Wilson. Kest uh, no, Wilson. Wilson Contreras, the Cubs catcher, uh, hit one to center field. Center fielder bounced off his head, and he got it inside the park home run. Well, I guess a single in errors, or whatever it was. A four base error gotcha. is that a possibility? Ooh, yeah, why not, right? Yeah, makes sense. 
Oh, good pass. Oh, there come we go. on. That's what I'm looking for. That's a game changer right there. That pitch is literally a game changer. See, you got to swing at that. Uh, that yeah. Last pitch. Ooh, first off, that thing was moving. I was ready for that. For a for a four seam fastball, the thing was. Amazing. Yeah, it definitely moves. I agree. Got him. Back door. Oh no, I didn't even move. Come on. Capital Field's big. It ain't that big. Capital City. Get that pen rocking. Get that pen rocking. That's wow. Knuckle curve. Wow. Every time. What a hanger. Yeah, it definitely was. No! What are you doing? Yes! Yes! Waited just long enough. I didn't want him to throw anywhere. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here we go. Wow. I think you're a batter. See ya! That's your runner. That's the guy we want. Okay. Uh, so now, like I said it earlier, my World Series pick is Indians and six as well. No, oh, I just got under that. Man. Man. I'm man. Trying, I'm trying to get nervous. Oh, now. man. Yeah, I got the Cubbies in six. Yeah. Uh, TJ and I are on opposite sides, but both believe in six. That's a good number, right? Also, not a huge fan of the uh, Kenny Lofton, Carlos Bayer. <laughs> the Kenny Lofton, Carlos Bayerga choices for the first two games of uh, first pitches. Yeah, not a fan. I mean, Definitely not a fan. Don't get me wrong. I like them. I like the guys. Right. Just not my picks for the first pitch. Come on. Ooh, Marco Hernandez letting off a good pitch there. 98 high cheese, kind of. Sitting away from it though. If you can, if you can hit it, feather that. Yeah, a lot of people think it should be Charlie Sheen. I wanted to be Charlie Sheen, but then you start thinking about it. Are you really going to rely on Charlie Sheen I mean, in that be, moment? It's supposed to be good now, right? It's supposed to be all cleaned oh, up. Oh come on! What is that spot? Uh, I mean, I think that would be kind of cool. I would actually also rather the Bob Uecker part of that idea. Yeah, do you like the Bob Uecker part? This four seamer mm -hmm. is moving. Yeah, it's all over the place. I will say that, especially with the speed it's got. AJ Reed, drop step, get there. All right. I mean, if they do Charlie Sheen, you have to do Henry Rowan Gardner, game three or four. Yes, yes, float it, just. Or, or Gary Busey, or you have Gary Busey out there, and then you bring Rowan Gardner in. Obviously, I have uh, Daniel Stern take him out of the game. <laughs> Daniel Stern said that. Uh, uh, did you see that he replied to Sheen? No. What did he say? He replied to Sheen and said, "Well, if you're there, I'm ready to go." <laughs> and, and put a picture of him in the Cubs uniform. <laughs> That'd be great. Ooh, go down and get that ball. I don't even know how you got that ball. Here's the problem. Is whoever throws out whatever game uh, that they lose is going to be a problem. They're going to hate that person forever. Oh, no kidding. They're going to be the next Bartman. I do. I did hear people saying that they want Bartman to throw out a pitch, which would be kind of awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, whoa, AJ, AJ Reed. Reed. We still here. We still here. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, what a bomb that was, too. AJ Reed ain't playing around. Only the sixth, buddy. Only the sixth. I don't know. The left fielder might be out of this game. He sucks. Throw it away. Nope. Hey, man, you know what they say. Kevin can wait. Bam. Oh, my God. Kevin can definitely wait for me to watch that show ever. Hmm. Mm. 
Oh, oh that's the one I wanted. What do, 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 do. Oh, come on. That's a good eye. Just gotta get Reed Brainiac to get up. And then hopefully get a single. I don't know where I want to go with this. Oh, good eye. Alright, Reedy Brignac, here we go. She need a hit so I can pinch it. Oh! Trying. Ooh, big play like Davis. Icky Davis. Alright, 4 2, boys. 4 2. Three innings left. You gotta throw some JB in there, baby. I mean, I thought I made it quite obvious that I was gonna bring bring in a reliever. So, nope, I'm perfectly fine with that. Sure, lefty, lefty, Chuck, lefty. Chuck hits both about the same. That's why I brought him in. Nobody hits Gorzlani though. That's a good point. Gorzlani got some good pitches. It's kind of nasty. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Get through. Oh, yeah, come AJ on. AJ Reed with the bat with the glove. Next year to try running on him, I'm going to throw someone out too. Oh, come on. I can't. You know, I can't really complain. He that's gave me that one earlier too, yeah. Yeah, that's all night. So. Whoa, not that's, that one. That's not there. Uh, so I did that fantasy draft league that I was talking about. Uh, yeah, go ahead. CJ Crone, pretty good. He's my uh, first baseman. Yeah, CJ Crone definitely pretty good. Nice play. I'm trying to think of the rest of the team off the top of my head, and I can't think of anybody. Uh, I know I have Corey Seager and Chris Bryant. Those are my first two picks. Figured just lock down my three and four hitters for the next ten years. Ooh. Try to get inside of that. Oh, there's a possibility I might win some money depending on how tonight's football game goes. Oh, really? What is uh, tonight's football game going on? Uh, the Texans at Broncos. Okay. There are seven people in our pool that have the exact same score right now. Oh, really? Okay. So it's all down to, I think, three of them have the Broncos, four of them have uh, the Texans. Get up the middle. There we go. No way. I just threw my microphone almost all the way across. <laughs> saw that on video. That was a little ridiculous. Uh, I'm using the Dodgers at Red Sox Fever. It's 21 to 9. I have 42 points as the as my point thingy. Right. Uh, I think someone else has 47 and like 36. Get down. Come on. So it's literally going to be a point thing. Squared that up to... Who else? I got some more Dodgers because I was like, we're wearing the Dodgers, the Dodgers colors. Might as well pick some Dodgers, which is why I got Corey Seager, Chris Bryant. I don't know who my second baseman is. Oh, I have Chase Utley and uh, Juan Moncado. First base is. I don't know where the first baseman is. I need to put the video live on YouTube. I have not done that yet. Uh, I actually played with them last night on the stream. If you want to check out a... I might have to check out that archive. Thing. Uh, yeah, I want to put the draft up and have that ready to go, but I just haven't put it up yet. Oh. Thank you for being a gentleman. I, I was waiting. I know I caught you one last time, so... We're going to lose Sardini else. Oh, YouTube's been acting a little funky recently. All right, come that. on, Sardinius. Call that classic YouTube. That's what, what I want. Whoa. Right to the second baseman, Gordon Beckham, first base, out number one. GBZ, I like call him. 
Uh, oh, actually go through the whole thing at some point. Good, perfect. Oh! oh! <laughs> that might be a triple down the left field line if he gets through there. Might have been 9 to 12 bases. Uh, okay, so I have Jan Mankato at second, CJ Crone at first, as I said, Chris Bryan at third, Corey Seager at short, Jason Wirth in left. Get through. Uh, Norm nope. Mazzara and Beltre in right. Wilson Contreras behind the plate. Jock Peterson in center. I can't think of my bench. I'm trying to see if I can see my bench. I don't think I scroll down there. Uh, Verlander, Wayne Wright as some of my pitchers. That a bunch of young guys. What I have is like a, I have a weird team. It's a bunch of very young guys and a bunch of very old guys. guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to have those established veterans, mm -hmm. veterans, right? Well, I had Wayne. I had Verlander first, and then I was like, I might as well take Wayne Wright later. And I think Wayne Wright's actually playing better. Nice. I think he's like six and two. With a two something. Oh man! Run. Come on, Knudsen. Guido. Oh, power swing. <laughs> uh, so does uh, Battlefield on PS4 come out tonight? Is that how that works? What do you mean? Last week. It's already out. All right. It is already out. Came out on last Friday. Oh, the that was to everybody? Early yeah, the early edition came out before that. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought there was like a three-day rollout of days. So we should play that on PS4 sometime if you have it on PS4. I don't have it on PS4. I have it on Xbox One. Screwed up. You screwed up. Young Jock, we don't give up. What? Oh, here we go, boys. Uh, yeah, so if anybody wants to play Battlefield 1 on PS4, holler at me. And what is your PSN name? It is That Sports Gamer, same as the Twitch. It's called, uh, it's called Branding. Snaggle knows all about it. Uh, who do you got coming up? Oh, me be on PC. Yo, if me be on PC wants to play some League of Legends, we can do that ish. What? What? A little LOL? Ace of Bam's out there. What's going on. NBO PC. NBO, yep. Ace of Bam out there. The constant creeper. Lurking like a champion. I love him. It's a nice starting pitch right there. Wolfgang Stuck. It's a good name. Sometimes I like to just go look through the uh, the viewer list. Wolfgang's talking in chat. You can look through there. Uh oh. Uh oh. He oh. literally just said something for the first time. I'm just saying. No, he said something. That was like 10:59. It's all. You know, I'm trying to win this game. I'm very focused. No, here. You know, I need you looking at. I need you looking at the chat. I need you looking at. I need the ump looking at something. Cause what? You've got enough calls. I'm gonna shift. Hit right into my shift, why don't you? Yeah. Kid, no, no, notorious. No, 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 notorious. Ace of Bam in here, baby. I need a little Ace of Bam off Casey McGee's bat. Oh. That's not it. You're going to get some Ace of Base. Yeah. I saw the sign. But you got thrown out a second, so. <laughs> but it opened up my eyes. Yeah. Mahika here doing work. First off, not where Mahika's pitch. pitches and, and and like the the um, wind up, it's just a little a little weird, a little off. Whoa, not off I enough. I mean, except that one. But Jeff Frank good against lefties. Ace of bam with Frenchie. All right, all right. I don't know if I believe that, but come on. All right, three runs, three runs. So you got to close, I assume. Sure. I'll Why not? I'll assume he's warming up. Why would he warm it up in the eighth? What in oh, so I got two innings? Ha ha! Well, now you're screwed. <laughs> now I got two innings to score runs? I might get six. <laughs> Just for good measure, right? So I can get a save situation. Maybe on PC, you're absolutely right. He says, uh, Casey McGee, he is the most bipolar player when it comes to consistency. Let me tell you what. Beast in Japan. There's my guy, Coach Joe, in the chat. Coming to support his boy. Speaking of supporting your boy, why don't you support Millennium by hitting follow on twitch.tv slash that sports gamer. Wait, what? 
That reminds me, I do need to set up Twitch alerts on this thing. I also need to set up the extra yeah, like, Twitch alerts. Get some Twitch alerts. You gotta get yourself a GIF. We got that uh, site GIF over on OS. What? You get a little fist bump going. Yeah, anytime, anytime someone follows on OS. So you'd be like, uh, all over the world. Kind of like hands. That. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. So we get like a uh, psych has like a all their fist bumps mm -hmm. in like one gif, like a five second gif, and then we play from liar liar. Psych the movie. Gotcha. Continue. No, psych the TV show. It's the same thing. Different. Hilarious. Yeah. Big fan. Psych the musical. Big fan. Who we got? Up? Daniel. I love Nava. psych. By the Better way. Better watch out. We got AJ Reed coming up. This could be. Uh, he could hit up nine on home run real quick. So, all right, we fixed that. We fixed that. Uh, I need to find a sick GIF. I'll go see what GIFy has for me. Yeah. I'm gonna assume you're throwing a ball in the first pitch. Maybe not. Favorite underdog players? Huge fan uh, of underdog. The underdog, the, the superhero, right? The dog. Yeah. Huge fan of Daniel Nava. Ugh. Nava, Nava gonna work here anymore. <laughs> Good attempt. I'll give you the attempt. I probably could have gotten third. That's what I'm talking about, Coach Joe. Comeback player. Look at um, AJ Reed. I have the odd feeling he might get four right here. <laughs> <laughs> the unintentional, intentional walk. Maybe. You know what happens if it's not. Yak City. Who is no longer Yak City. I wonder if he changed his uh, Twitch to go along with that. Oh. I, saw you, I saw you getting close. Don't get close like that. Oh! <laughs> lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. This is going to be a ball. Not even a question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost to bottom time. Oh, good pitch. Oh, really the good pitch. slider. Oh, the slider was so good. All right, let me see what Zapata's got here. Ooh, 69. I don't know if I like that. Uh, I think I'm okay with this for now. Right, Daniel Nava did that grand slam in game one. Yes. And it's been trash after that. Absolutely. Oh, we just, you're one of these guys. <laughs> Dirt dogging over here. Dirt dogging. Uh, two years. Oh, you Nava, yeah. Two year, two good years with the Red Sox, then kind of trash after that. Blue. Don't blue me. Don't even start with that. Not gonna blue bullshit. you at all. Bull stuff. <laughs> uh, bull shift is not in the chat room. Yeah, bull shift. We need bull shift of the normals. Bull shift is not in the chat room. Tabata time. Ooh. You gonna do it against Sheffy? Gonna go for it. You, I feel like he didn't get a good animation. He didn't feather that correctly. Uh did not. You know, what I didn't get. I didn't get a good animation on the uh, on the relay. Old Hoss Rayburn, great follow on tw on uh, Twitter, by the way. Who is that? Keith Law, I believe it is. Is it Keith Law? I think so. Hood Galvin, wow. Oh, man, if he left him in, I would have pinch hit for him. Man. Man, man. Oh! <laughs> you don't want none of Tommy Conley. Okay, just need one. Just need one run here. Yeah, that was contact swing. First off, that's the biggest contact swing thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Two seamer. Bring it. Gonna push a game four. Mm. All right, who we got here? So Tommy Conley is going to get subbed for. Um, Don Kelly. You know what? I think Don Kelly's coming in, buddy. Donnie Kells? Hasn't done anything all series. It's time. Is it, though? It is. Is it, though? 
Mm-hmm. How come? How come you get it? Because that, because the umpire's uh, butthole puckered a little on that pitch. <laughs> That's not where that's supposed to be. Donnie Kelly, Sorry. get up. No, 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 I can't do it. EY. Want to. EY, trying. Trying his hardest out there. Eh, I'm okay with that. <sighs> what are you going to do? What do you do with Malik Smith up? Bring up Johnny Danks? I was watching a, a thing on Ricky Henderson that was just on. Uh, I've seen mm -hmm. it before. Uh, I forget what it's called. MLB Presents Ricky something, something, something. Some, MLB Presents Ricky's Amazing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, they were talking about when he set the record for stolen bases. Mm -hmm. He would have got it in Oakland. They had a slow dude hit a single. Right. And then Ricky Henderson walked. Oh, and he got stuck behind the slow dude. Coach literally said, yo, get picked off. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. I can absolutely see that. I don't. Nobody wants steal to tag third, the guy steal out. Steal third. Yep. Now, like Smith down the line. <sighs> Whoa! Great animation. Love that animation. Get though. wrecked. Ugh. I guess we're playing game four. Ain't no way. Whoa. <laughs> Kid's got a cannon. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Ain't no way someone covering third. Go oh, get! Yeah. Oh, blue. Oh, man. What was going on there? I did not tell him to go home. First off. Oh, you got to be kidding me. If Max Smith got doubled that? up again, that would have been hilarious. Mmm. Love me some outside squeeze. Oh, come on, Ike. Jeez. <laughs> Malik Smith already across the plate by the time that ball gets into the mitt. What was this matchup? I forget. I'm Fulty and who? who Why am I double switching? Who started for you? What? I don't want to. Cancel the double switch. Yes, Just thank you. Circle. Yeah. Who started yeah. for you? Uh, who was it? Oh, Stevenson. Malik Smith, the new Michael Bourne. Maybe on PC's got it down pat. All kinds of clutch for your guy, for your boy. More like the new Ben Revere. I like Ben Revere. I can deal with that. Look at that! Look at that feathering. Fast. Dude's fast. Who comes in for Johnny Danks? Ty Who's Bose. left of the bench? Tybo's old. Your old mother Hubbard and your only Vaughn's left in your cupboard. I feel like John Danks ain't never pitching again in the series. <laughs> oh, that slider. That slider. Billy Blanks Jr. That's <laughs> true. It's son. I'm gonna swing that. No, I need NFL.com. I need. I need 42 points. I'm really bad at picking NFL teams, so the fact that I'm even in the running for this, I'm pretty excited. Nice. That's what's 24 plus nine. Uh, 33. 33. <sighs> I need more points. Flunday. That's triple right there. Come on. Six minutes left, so I need another touchdown. What's Game that? over. The comeback has begun. I think it's closest. It's not like uh, Price is Right rules. What do you mean? So I think the guy, one guy has like 35 points, and I have 42 points. Right. So I think if it's 40 points, I'll win. Are you talking about over? Like, or did you did you pick the over or the under, or what'd you pick? Uh, How many points total? Yeah, we picked points total was the tiebreaker. 
Is this points total without going over? That's what I, I think it's just points total closest to it wins. Dude, Tolls comes in and goes two for five for me with a run. So I need at least another touchdown. Malik Smith, after getting dropped to nine, goes three for four with two ribbies. Are we doing this right now? Doing what? Game four. Uh, dude, I don't know about game four. All right. Remember I don't that. know if I can. I, I gotta. I gotta put myself in a good place. Remember that you're on better G. place to win. All right. If, if you want to call it a night, we can call it a night right there. I think. I think that's what we do. We, we call this a night and say, you know what? I mean, the people we come back see it. next week. All the right. people don't want to see it. People don't want to see game four yet. You gotta. You gotta keep them coming back from more. Is it a five game series? Five game series. Yep. It's big. Game four could be big. Uh, so I guess. Okay. So what are we gonna do? The, we're gonna have not the last two guys, right? Uh, no, you, the, the next game, as long as it's not Stevenson and Fulty, we'll, we'll just pitch. Because okay. I think it's going to be impossible trying to get us to go those. No, I mean, I think we just do the same as we did this time. It's either it's not one of the first two games. I mean, it's not one of the last two games. Okay, so not it can't be Fulty or Stevenson, and it can't be... Flande or Marks. Um, Flande and Marks, yeah. But it can be Big Pelf and Musgrove or Tim Linscombe and whoever the other guy is. Uh, Lucas Harrell. Lucas Harrell. I believe he was the uh, quarterback for Texas Tech. Was it? Oh, I really hope. <laughs> I guess I should probably let this go now. Um, I really hope Andrew Tolles has that inside edge boost next week. Well, what teams you have? The Dodgers. Who probably aren't won't. in the World Series, so he will not have an inside edge boost. He was plus 15 to his contact and power. That's pretty nasty. Uh, I was right. Yeah. Texas Tech for Graham Harrell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarterback, Grant Merrill. For your New York Jets practice squad. <laughs> also, your Saskatchewan Rough Riders offseason. Yeah, I was going to say, he was all over the place. Squad. He is now, you know what he's doing now? Take a guess. Uh, pumping gas. No, North Texas's offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Oh, was he really? Hey, pop quiz, Graham Harrell, Super Bowl champion. Well, yeah, but he got that. On the bench. Just saying. You know what he's got? A Super Bowl ring. You know what you ain't uh-huh. got? Nada. You got a dope. Yeah. All you got is a dope Diamond Dynasty logo. Right. That's all you got right now. You know what I got? You know what I got to get? What I what I got to got to get? I got to get my Astro A50 two, on. Two turntables and a microphone. Yo, yes. can we get serious right now for a second about these Astros? Yeah. Loving my A38s. I, dude. I'm. I've got. I got Gen One A50s, for and I've had. I've had them for a few years. I had them since before the Xbox One and the PS4 came out. Love them to death. And these new ones are going to have wireless chat. Finally, mm-hmm. the first headsets ever to have wireless chat on the Xbox One. Can't wait. Can't wait. Completely wireless. I assume is what you mean. Uh, yes, completely chat. wireless. Right now, any any uh, any kind of headset you get, they're still going to the controller, right? Yeah, you just have to go in the controller with it, which screws everything up. So, uh, let me tell you about branding. Get some A38s with custom tags. Oh, dude, that's one thing A50s can't do is custom tags, and it really bothers me. Yeah, I think it's only A30s, A38s, and A40s, right? Something like that. And I think the A30 uh, and A38s are the same tags, which is even bonus. Yes. Tags. Yeah, they are. Here's A40s. the problem. I want to buy like a thousand sets of tags. Just keep making. Just switch them out. It's kind of like the way you have so many hats. Yeah. I can see that. How sick would that be? Uh, 17 hours till the... Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Do you know what happens in two days and 23 hours? The captains change. The rank 50 captains change. Ooh. Interesting. I am not close to any of those. I'm working on my third rank 40 right now. Why are you working your third rank 40? Don't you want one of those 50s at some point? But, as I was saying, these diamonds in the rank 40 could be guys I need. For my get all the cards thing, I currently have forty four hundred tickets, and I'm at forty five with Rizzo right now. Nice. I'm at twenty seven hundred. I think I bought someone. I think I bought someone to sell someone last time. Is that a rookie trout? That's a ninety eight. Yeah. Great against oh. righties. Again, here's a problem: sixty four contact versus lefties. Yeah. Why would you spend that much on somebody like that? I like the brawn. I like the brawn a lot. I believe the brawn is legit, from what I remember looking at. Yeah, yeah, 
82 that contact first Friday. Kimbrel, I mean, that Kimbrel, Kimbrel, dude, that Kimbrel looks phenomenal. Yeah, basically. 99 Ks per 9, 99 hits per 9, 96 home runs per 9, 93 walks per 9. Uh, home runs per 9 doesn't matter. Uh, 93 velocity, 94 break. Yeah. So I feel like it's some game he had a sinker. Always angry. Andre Dawson's all right. Isn't the other... Cepeda looks good, too. The first base Cepeda. Andre Dawson's an 80, 95. Doesn't he have, like, a 92? Uh, Yeah, he does. He's the, the Nationals yeah. um, collection reward. I actually have him. He's good. He platoons for me with... um. Who was the other guy that was out there? He's a center fielder. I don't remember. know if he's really... Uh... Well, all my all my all oh, my corner outfitters are center fielder. Yeah, all my outfitters are center fielder at this point. So for my real team, who did I, I? I did the set on someone just to have the someone to sell them. <laughs> really? I mean, I had um no. I mean, sorry, uh, I wasted stubs or I wasted my tickets to get someone who I already had, right? So that I could sell the one I already had to get. Uh, so I had the coins for other stuff. Right. And then... Oh, I guess I got suspect. Apparently I got suspect at some point. I don't know when that happened. When the hell did I get suspect? No, no. Wait, wait. Oh, I love Daniel Murphy, don't I? <sighs> <laughs> you love Daniel Murphy? That's where you're putting your... Uh, uh, you're putting all your eggs in the basket? Oh, no. What do I do? Okay, so here's my here's my dilemma. Are you ready for this? Uh huh. Level, uh, Captain Store. Right. Jacob Degrom's level forty reward is Jacob Degrom. I can get him. Jacob Degrom will go into my rotation. Right. Jacob Degrom will get me the upgraded Daniel Murphy. Ooh, and you you do love you some Daniel Murphy. Jacob DeGrom also gets me one step closer. Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. How far away are you from Chipper Jones? From Chipper Jones, I need uh Jose Fernandez. Okay. I need Bryce Harper. I need yeah. that's it. Jose Fernandez and Bryce Harper. But that's a hundred and thirty wow. uh, no, that's probably like a hundred thousand. That's if you have, yeah. And was, especially, isn't Fernandez still pretty high right now? I think he's like 70 last time I looked or something like that. Yeah. 61. See, yeah. 61. His buy now is 81. His sell now is 61. So it's going to be like 65. So it'll be like 80 for the two of them. Right. Mm, man, right that now. is, that's rough. But see, or, I mean, or the I... risk is I can, though, here's here's another thing. Uh, I mean, I don't think he's really going for that much. Uh, I will have a Andrew Miller when I finish doing the Andrew Miller stuff, then I can sell the Andrew Miller that I have now and keep right. the other one. Uh, so I'll have some stubs from that. Also, I say I just need Bryce Harper, but I need like Matt Latos also and Sean Burnett. But yeah, but that's Spencer, that's nothing. Spencer right. Kaboom. Actually, Harper's the one I need out of that too. Dude, that Andrew Miller is so sick now. Ooh, I should just. Hmm. Just saying. I could also do the Cubs real quick, probably. But I need Vado still. I assume these. Actually, I think the NL Central is probably pretty cheap right now. If you can get. Uh, I, I mean, outside of the Cubs, I would think the Cubs still have all those diamonds up yeah. top. I mean, if you have the Cubs, <laughs> Vado is really the only one. I think. Votto, I think. I agree with Snaggle. I think at some point you have to snag Chipper just for you. I know. But who knows what next week brings, right? That's very true. What if it's a 99 chipper? I mean, What if someone's maybe... level 50 is a 99 chipper and I just have to go ham, say mutt, get out my face. Actually, you know what's actually good? I've been Since I've been doing uh, all these sets, uh, all, all right. these missions, it's been getting me a lot of XP. Going mm. towards these uh, these guys. So quick, let's figure out which of these captains would have a chipper in it, and then. I mean, it's gonna have to be. What's his durability? Probably less than an eighty-five. Yeah, he he had durability issues, so. And L East could be in. I mean, assuming they don't change the captain and stuff again. Which did they change that last time too? Right. Ugh. Uh, Degrom's NL East, so he would get, he would be there. 
taller than 5'10". No durability. Definitely. I mean, National, National League East, right? So he could have been DeGrom. He's, Definitely, yeah, would definitely have discipline over 70. Um, he was smaller than 230, I think. Uh, is that what the last one is? Smaller than 230. Probably. And he's not a lefty, so he wouldn't be in the... Uh, ah, who both bat and threw left-handed. Okay, correct. Right. Yeah, no, no. Just he, I know he batted lefty, but he threw righty, obviously. Batted switch hitting. You may know him as the third greatest switch hitter of all time. Behind? Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, well, I know one of these is coming up on my on on my team, so I'm good with this. Uh, yeah. It better. I, it absolutely better. <laughs> well, Pete Rose is a switch hitter, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. So he's I. He's got to be number one, I guess. I don't. Yeah. Of mm-hmm. of Hall of Fame eligible players. Okay. Uh. Trevor Jones is the second best switch hitter. No, no, no. Keep going. Uh, I guess you got to say Mickey Mantle's number one, right? Man, Ma- Mantle would be number one. Switch hitter, guys. There's a better hitter than Chipper. I mean, there's a number third place of eligible Hall of Fame guys that I can think of. Mm-hmm. Uh, a number third place, uh, easy. Snaggle's got it. Snaggle has it in the chat. Uh, you're obviously thinking like Carlos Beltran? Uh, no. Hmm. Better than Chipper Jones. Yes. Mark Teixeira? I mean, I don't know what you're thinking. I can't no. Think of, I, can't think of, I can't think of anybody that I would put between Mickey Mantle and Chipper Jones. Look at the chat. Think of, I can think of someone I would put, like, right behind him. You're a, talking about... A great Met? A, a historically great Met, uh, if I remember his stats from the Mets time. But you're talking about specifically hitting. Not as a player. His defense doesn't matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Specifically as a hitter. Well, then, yeah. Best then, switch hitter. Yes. Yeah, Mickey Mantle and then Chipper Jones. No. He, then, no to, don't don't start. Please don't do this to me. And then a far, far distant third. <laughs> Still good. Look. Third best. Uh, Third best. Easily. Uh-huh. Dead. Uh, Eduardo Nahara, I believe is his name. <laughs> look. Nahara. Wow. Look. <laughs> it's not. First off, statistically, not even close. Yeah, is that what you were, you, you were stalling just to get a... Uh... I want to pull up some stats. Chipper Jones, the third, the second best uh, Hall of Fame eligible switch hitter. Uh huh. Three. Let me tell you. About, let me tell you some lifetime numbers, and let me tell you why I respect Chipper Jones because he's got the three four five number. Mm-hmm. What do you know about the three four five number? Bad. Three four five. Yeah. Three oh three. Uh huh. Go ahead. OBP four oh one. Mm hmm. On slugging. 529. If you can go 3 4 5 with your batting average on base and slugging, you're pretty legit. Now, if so, you're, um, now if you're a dude that goes like 287, 359, 476, you're good. You're great. You, you're possibly uh, the third greatest Hall of Fame eligible switch hitter. Sorry, sorry. You mean he was 287 batting average, 4 uh 359 OBP, yeah. 476 slugging, OPS 836. Yeah. That's nearly 100 points behind Trevor Jones. What you're gonna do? I can't. I can't. I can't make up the numbers here. Uh huh. And how many hits did Chipper Jones have? A lot. It's crazy. How many? I don't know. Twenty seven hundred, something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. What hey. number is that? Hey, Twenty seven hundred. You know Five hundred below. Hey man, you know what Chipper Jones did? He retired at some point. You know what? He knew he couldn't do it, so he retired. You know what he didn't do? I'll tell you what he didn't do right now. He didn't be like. Hey, why don't I just play for every team in the American League? Maybe Cleveland wants to hang out with me. Maybe I'll go to Boston for more for a little bit. <laughs> How's Anaheim this time of year? Maybe we'll go right. to Los Angeles. I like Anaheim, right. but maybe I'll just come down here to Los Angeles. Crazy, crazy. First off, what the hell was he doing on the Dodgers at 41? <laughs> I just I mean, and look at that nine games. It's not a big deal. Don't get me I, wrong. What, 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 Love Eddie Murray. Right. Some of my favorite baseball card pictures of Eddie Murray. Can I get a 1993 Don Russ? Eddie Murray. Can I just tell you, look at how many, look at his home runs. 27, 27, 25, 32, 22, 32, 33, 29, 31. Come on. 17 when he was hurt for uh, 20-some games. 30, 28, 20, 26, 19, 16, 27 in 1993 when he's 37. Let me tell you something about uh, being hurt. Let Let me bring you back to 2008. Chipper Jones. Dude was hurting. Had no power. Could barely hit left-handed. You know what he did? Won a batting title. Got bored. Hit 364 <laughs> at 36. It was just like, I don't know. We'll just we'll just go out here and win a batting title. Right, right. On right, base, right. 470. 
that's great. Year. <sighs> I am, Don't I get me wrong. Argument. Love Eddie Murray. No, no by far talking. third best. Uh, not even, not even close. It's not even close. Hold on, I'm gonna go. Hold on, let me just count real quick. How many chat? Uh, any chat right now? I know, I know there's some of you here. I just need to check. Guys, real quick. Hold on, let me just count. Chat, hold on, just, just in the chat, who's better? Better. Just, uh, hold on, let me just count these there. MVP awards. Hitting, real quick. Hold hitting on. alone, hitting alone. Who is a better hitter? Chipper Jones, Eddie Murray. Anyone in chat? While we're talking about this, I, I, I got guys on my side. That's what, third uh, best Hall of Fame eligible switch hitter. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, pretty good. Oh whoa! Eddie Murray getting a <laughs> World Series ring? Just out of curiosity. That is that's not what I expected out of the chat. Eighty three Baltimore. Uh, I am. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Wolfgang. He's also correct. Oh, Wolfgang, get out of here. You're banned, from my, you're banned from my stream. 83 World Series ring. I'll give him that. Congrats, Eddie Murray, on your 1983 World Series ring. <laughs> get out of here, Wolfgang. You're now banned from my stream. And actually, don't I have? No, I don't have it. I have, my OS. Nope. I have to sign in the OS one to ban him here. No, oh, come on, Snaggle. Atlanta's not the friendliest park. Eddie Murray played at Memorial Stadium. Okay, yeah, and he Murray played thousand years old. What can I do? Yeah, he played sorry, at Memorial I can't, Stadium. I can't, I can't judge players from the dead ball era. I mean, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> he started in 1977. He played at Memorial. Then he moved over to LA, and then he played at Old Mets Stadium. And he played at freaking Cleveland, not the Jake Cleveland. Hey, you know what he should have done then? Let me tell you something. You know what he should have done? Mm. Had a better batting average. Just saying. He hit 287. That's it. It's no 303, is it? His OBP is 359. Come on. His OBP is 359. Yeah. Because he you got walked all the time. You know what that is? Sure ain't 401. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Love, love I'm Trooper I love Eddie Murray. I love his 93 Donruss card. Can I pull this up? Go look at his 93 Donruss card. He's holding a guy on. It's a pickoff move. I love it. Pretty sure he got a Diamond <laughs> King at some point. A uh, huge fan of Eddie Murray. Loved his time with the Orioles. Loved his time with the Mets. I've, I've tried to forget that he was with the Dodgers at some point. Beautiful mustache. Third Beautiful mustache. best Hall of Fame eligible. <laughs> Red Sox. Red Sox understands the risks. <laughs> Third best Hall of Fame eligible switch hitter. Don't oh worry. man. Yeah. Okay. That, I mean, that's, it's that's a, a, a look. It's close. Listen. It's okay to have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Even when they're wrong, it's okay. Okay, let me just look at this real quick. Oh, they don't have like... Hmm. If you go 100, 162 game average... Yeah. Chipper Jones still better. 30 home runs, 105 RBIs. Oh. 27 home runs, 103 RBIs. Even if. Oh. Even if. Well, I guess technically he could hit three home runs. If he hit three extra home runs, he would have 106 RBIs, which would be better. Right. Still wouldn't have the batting average, though. I'm just trying to see. Is there anything? Uh... You, know what we could do? you know what would be a real quick answer? And I think we're stupid for not even thinking about this. Let's go. look at the stats in the game. Let's go to the videotape. What do we got? Eddie Murray, 93 overall. 82, 77, 81, 74. Not that bad. doesn't count. Not bad. Because That's Super not bad. Jones is a higher reward. Don't give me that crap. Hey, man. Wait, why is he a higher reward? Is it? Is it because he's possibly a better player? And he's deserving. a more popular player. Whoa. whoa. Uh, you, okay. Off, Chipper Jones, easily the third most popular. Easily, Bravo, could be argued Bravo, the Bravo. fourth most popular Brave of the nineties. I what, love Maddox, the Braves. Maddox, Glavin, Maddox, Maddox Smoltz. Smoltz. Come on, Steve yeah. Avery. We're Steve Avery in the argument. Let's go. David Justice, holler at your boy. Wait, what was he? It was uh, Eddie Murray, ninety three. I mean, you know what? Uh, uh, let's so let's let's just go on what you're saying here, right? Okay, let's let's say. We look at the stats, right? All right. Let me ask you. A we, we look at the we look at the cards. We look at, we're going to look at the cards. Yeah. Like you said, we're going to look at the cards. I'm going to bring up the Braves. I'm going to bring up Chipper Jones at 95 at overall. Yeah, 83, 84, and I see 90, 71. 71. 71 power against lefties. You know what that means? 65 clutch. 
65 clutch. I just, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, but then, I, you know, I look back and I look back at Eddie Murray. And, you know, I see, I see 70 clutch. I see 86 discipline. I see good stats across the board. I don't want to hear it anymore. Hold on. I'm trying to pull, I'm trying to pull up the uh, comparison. Hold on real quick. Why are What's we contact? ending this? What's going on, Joshua Wu? Chipper's got him in contact versus righties, contact versus lefties, power versus righties. And he gives him three points in power versus lefties. You know why? Because Chipper was a beast contact hitter against lefties. Jesus. What are you doing out there? I'm trying to fix my Nexus 6 by turning it into a Nexus 7 or whatever, 8. You mean uh, Pixel XL? Whatever you call it, yeah. Like I have in my hand right now? Yeah, I'm really I'm pushing hard to get my wife a Pixel. Pushing hard. Uh, first off, what's Eddie Murphy's uh, Eddie Murphy? What's Eddie Murray's uh, drag <laughs> bunt rating? Fifteen. Great. You know, drag not, bunt rating. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> I don't talk to you anymore. Wait. First off, were you? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Were you spouting off about Eddie Murray's eighty-six discipline? Yes, it's eighty-six discipline. As compared to Trevor Jones' ninety-two. I just want to no, make sure we have that right. Just to let you know, it's still better on Eddie Murray. You oh. seen the stance? You seen that stance? You seen have this, you seen the stance? You seen this cannon? Of a seventy-one arm strength, or of seventy arm strength that uh, Chipper has seventy arm strength at um, third, where Murray's got a sixty-six arm strength at first. Yeah, I know. What's, what's he need a sixty-six arm strength to flip over to first base? Get out! Of Fifty-nine here. speed, son. Fifty-eight speed. Also, first off, when I say better player, I mean better player all around. Yeah, I know what you mean. If it's all around, it's it's obviously going to be chipper. But and even if it's offensively or just defensively, this is probably, probably chipper. All star games, stuff like no. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chipper Jones, some would say, the greatest of all time. Not me. Obviously, we have. First off, <laughs> the I, greatest of all time. I do actually kind of want to check. Is Chipper Jones better than Mickey Mantle? Just ask. Twenty seven. Is so Chipper Jones good. better than? Are you really saying is Chipper Jones better than Mac, Mickey Mantle? You know who's in the game. You know who's not. So I'm just saying. <laughs> God. Again, I don't know how this point thing works. So that's 38. I don't know if I'm closer than the other person. Is there an extra point going on here? Field goal? Something? 27 to 29. So that's 38. So I assume I lose. I don't remember. I have to check the email. Uh, let's see. Does, he have the, does Mickey Mantle have the three four five? Ooh, oh, Mickey Mantle man. not getting the three four five action. There you go. Six or five and two oh nine says it exactly. You can't trust a guy named Larry. Even Chipper knew it because he changed his name to Chipper. So how do you look at how do you look a man named Chipper in the face and go, "Yep, one and one my team." Listen, Eddie Murray's middle name is Clarence. I think that pretty much ends the whole conversation right there. You got a problem with Clarence? Clarence? The only there's only one good Clarence. Clarence Carter? I don't know who that is. Oh, stroke your Clarence Carter. Come on. Clarence Thomas? Well, you you type off, in Clarence Carter, right? Who's, who's, who's Clarence Carter? Please type in Clarence Carter. Some dude with glasses. No, you gotta play the you gotta play the video. No, there's one good Clarence. His name. Hold on, pulling it up right now. Uh, da, 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 da. This current Clarence Clemens. We all may remember him from the E Street Band. Rest in peace. Oh, come on. Get that off of there. His son also is now the, I believe his son is the, uh, is playing with the E Street Band. Possibly that is incorrect. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'll be stroking. You'd be stroking right now? Well, then I think we go stream. No, no, I'm just saying that's the song from Clarence Carter. It's definitely not playing in my earpiece right now. Okay, good. Clarence Darby? I think I have a picture near the third. Is the 33 outside of uh, of uh, Camden Yards? Uh, yes. I think I have a picture near. I know I have a picture with the 8. I don't know if I have a picture with 33. Uh, the eight, the thirty-three, the twenty-two, the five, the twenty, and the three. I think. Ah, uh, the three for when they didn't sign a Rod. That's exactly what it is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Otherwise known as you know Earl Weaver, one of the best managers ever. Earl the Pearl Weaver, not only a great not Earl manager, the Pearl, a great not Earl the well. Pearl. Pretty sure it's Earl the Pearl. All no, right, Earl the Pearl Monroe. We could have played game four. 
if you would have just conceded the correct <laughs> statement that Chipper Jones is the second best. Game four would have been another half hour after this. We would have been of well into the midnight hour. Guy, just saying. And you, you know what happens in the midnight hour? I turn into a pumpkin. First and off, then did you fingers don't work? Did you type deleted link? Because that's there wasn't a deleted link there. No, I didn't type deleted link. I don't know what's going on then. Yeah, no, it, the links just show up. I'm good. There's a line from you that says deleted link. It's because you don't have you don't have better uh. You don't have better Twitch going. You got to get that better Twitch going. No, but if I click, normally, if there's a real link that's deleted, I can click on it and it will tell me what the tweet was. The, the second the second link is the right one. No, I don't care. What's really cool is that with better Twitch, I can actually highlight the YouTube and see the channel it's from, the duration, how many views it has, and the likes and dislikes it has. That seems like a lot of work. That's because Red Sox, Red Sox says it. Colossal Gaming, what's going on, dude? What's going on, buddy? We're just chasing people out of chat, don't mind us. You want to build a 50 scene more paint? Oh, you know what someone did? Uh, they went in. He was talk I was talking to him last night in the stream. He... What did he do? He made a save, but with all of the prime guys in their prime. All of the prime Diamond Dynasty cards in their prime in the save. Oh, nice. I think that might be fun to play with. I can see that. Yeah, there, there are some really creative roster makers um, in the community. I, I agree with that. Not going to lie. I would probably take the 99 Mike Trout over the other Mike Trout. Oh, easily. Without question. Though he's not here, so I can't look at him. Well, because you can't buy those cards, right? Well, you can go into the, uh, you can yeah, go can into go the, the, the screen, captain's yeah. store. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess he would be on the same team, right? All day, Eddie Matthews. I think I assume I have him right. That's what you get for getting all the Braves. Or no, that's yeah. I should have. Mm, is it? Yeah, it is for the Braves collection. I literally don't think I ever played him. What am I doing? Looking at Angels, right? I mean, there's a lot of teams I could just knock out, but I'm not paying attention. Where are the Angels? Are the Angels in this game? Yes, they are in the NF the NFL. West. <laughs> Uh, 90, oh, first off, okay, only thing is, other Trout has 95 speed. Oh, yeah, but I mean, is that really, with, with his fielding rating, that immediately puts him up a little higher, so. Oh. <laughs> Matthews is a Oh, man. Gotcha. If I had Trout, I could do the same as Angels team. Just saying. You know how many Homer Andrew Bailey's I've got? I'm gonna make a team of only people whose last name is Bailey. Homer, Andrew. Uh, that's about it. Andrew on your team, uh, on your current common card dynasty. You can wrap this up. All right. Uh, hey, Millennium, can you do me a huge favor? Sure. Can you get out of the bullpen and get into the game? We'll be back next week uh, with another rousing edition of bullpen banter. We'll wrap up this common card thing. We should know who's doing good in the world. We could we could have a World Series champion if my math is correct. Yes, game five would be Sunday. Uh, so, yeah, we might have a World Series champion by the next time we convene. Back here next Monday, twitch.tv slash thatsportsgamer, 10 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at thatsportsgamer. Make sure you follow my associate, Chris, on Twitter. At Millennium OS, two L's, two N's. Also, follow the channel. We'd appreciate that very much. Also... Follow Chris over at twitch.tv slash Operation Sports. Guys, thank you very much for coming out tonight. We really appreciated it. Uh, I'm very upset that I wasn't able to get you a three-game sweep in this common card draft series. Uh, but we'll be back next week. We'll try to wrap it up. Uh, Chris, do you have any closing words? I do not. Uh, go Indians. Go Cubs indeed. And uh, I'd like to just thank everyone in the chat for agreeing with me that... Trooper Jones is the second best switch hitting Hall of Fame eligible player uh, out there. Congratulations, Chipper. Congratulations, Chipper. And the best part is that I muted Chris. So he does not actually get to say his bit that he's saying <laughs> in the background. So thank you, Chipper. Uh, we appreciate what you've done for us. Uh, hopefully, we get a 99 out of you real soon. Thank you guys for watching. See you again uh, next week, folks. Good night, Millennium. Night, bud.